Hi everyone, it's Tammy. I literally have talked for about five minutes and <laughs> I haven't had it taping. Oh, that's been my day. So today is Tuesday after work. I feel like I've said this before and I'm on my way home and it's chilly. It's 48 degrees according to my car weathery thing and it is beautiful. I love this weather. It's super fall-like. It's just perfect, but it's chilly and I love it. And I already told my husband that I was not going to cook tonight, so we are going for Mexican because we love Mexican food. And we have this new place that we really like. I don't even know the name of it. It's like Mi Tempara or something like that. And it's a little further away but it's worth it. The food is so good. I love the fajitas. They have broccoli and zucchini along with the tomatoes and peppers and onions. It's so good. Um, sometimes even carrots are in it. So I feel like it's got a good source of vitamins. And then the grilled chicken is fabulous. So that's what I get and I love it. And my husband loves the um, huevos rancheros and he gets that and I've had that before there and it is so good. Actually, it's, it's not a dish that I normally got, get. I'm, it's okay, it's not that great. But at this place, if I wasn't watching my carbs, I would be eating that because it is so good. The fajitas are good though too and I've even gotten the taco salad without the shell and that's good too, but I don't know, it's kind of, that the taco shell, salad without a shell is something that I could certainly do at home and it wouldn't taste any better or worse at home. So maybe better, um, it wouldn't taste any worse at home. So, you know, I, ooh, there's something going on up here. Um, so I don't like to get something out that I can make at home and taste and have it be just as good, if not better than what I get out. So, oh, there's a police officer over here. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten over in this road or this side. I don't know what he's doing. It's just a police car. Unless there's a car in the ditch. I don't see anything. That is so bizarro. He has to be there somewhere. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So someone asked me if I would film the inside of the Ikea, and I will. I w that's a great idea because I've been talking about this silly Ikea for so long. I'd be happy to do that, but there's no way I'm going anytime soon, so don't be counting on that video anytime soon. It'll probably be well after the new year but um, my son went and he said, mom, you'd hate it. And I love you guys, but I ain't doing that. I won't do that. <laughs> um, I'm in a silly mood all of a sudden. That's weird. Not really weird. I guess I'm in a silly mood lots of times, but so funny to me to be talking to yourself. Oh, I forgot that to mention a second time because I mentioned it the first time and nobody was listening because I wasn't taping. But um, I am, tomorrow is my Friday, so I'm super excited about that. Wednesday is my Friday because I'm taking Thursday and Friday off to go to Taylor because my son is going to do a 24 at Taylor, which is a um, like a discovery of the college and a college visit. So Thursday night they have a dinner for the parents and the kids. So we are going to, I don't know if Dennis is coming yet or not. I forgot about the dinner until today when my daughter was like, well mom, because I had told her originally I was gonna drop them off and I thought that maybe we could all do lunch together on Thursday kind of a silly story, but I thought that would be fun if I got the kids, all of them and took them to lunch and then I could drop Alex off and he could do his thing and she's like well mom you're forgetting about the fancy dinner she said they even have cheesecake so I can't miss that come on now I did I totally forgot about the dinner so I will I'll take Alex after school and 
I'm not gonna work though. And then we're going to go to Taylor and we'll do the fancy dinner and then I will drop him off, kick him out. And he's staying with Kitty's boyfriend, David. And I think that'll be fun. They're both excited about that. So that's pretty neat. And then on Friday, I'm gonna come back with all of them. So I'm gonna bring Katie and Taylor, no, not Taylor, that's the university. Katie and Alex and David all back from Taylor. And uh, they have a Halloween party to go to at their dad's. So that should be fun. Katie and, did, Katie and David are going as Ariel and Eric from The Little Mermaid. So that is cute. And she asked me if we could stop at Hobby Lobby on Friday and you know, she twisted my arm. I guess I'll take her to Hobby Lobby. I hate to go, but for you guys I do it sometimes and for my daughter I'll do it sometimes, but <laughs> otherwise you're not going to catch me in Hobby Lobby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I reminded me of the briar rabbit who don't throw me in that briar patch. <laughs> Silly. <sighs> Goodness gracious, gracious, gracious. It's been a long, busy day, so I am ready to go eat some grub on some Mexican. It's 3.30, so we're probably not going to go for another few hours. Well, not few. Probably 5.30. So I might have a little snack when I get home little snacky snack. I actually didn't eat lunch today. I had, I wasn't hungry. I had um, tea and it kind of filled me up and it was just regular David's tea. It was the cotton candy kind though from my friend Jen and I finished the end of it. So I might have to get online and look up some cotton candy tea because it is so yummy. And she's actually given me other little samples of tea. This is um, Jen, the one who lives in Newfoundland and I have um, talked about her and done her unboxings but so she gave me these little things of tea tetley tea and s'more chai and pumpkin chai both the the tetley tea is its own brand it's something that they have in i guess europe and canada uh and i have already put it in my amazon cart because it is so good and then i got i tried the s'more chai last night and I had the pumpkin chai I think the night before that oh my gosh so good so I'm gonna have to shop at some David's tea especially since Tivana is closing and I love tea so although I did have a new Tivana tea today at work I was trying to save the last cup of the cotton candy tea I don't know what for but I just wanted to save it because I love it so much and I didn't want it to have it all gone but I tried this other tea it was a black tea from uh, Tivana and it was called joy and it was actually a free sample from last year and I just haven't had it yet so I mean it was fresh I just opened it but it was yuck I did not like it super bitter so after that yuck I thought well I'm gonna have something yum and so I had I didn't drink the yuck I just had a drink of it and I was like oh this tastes like crumb so I didn't do that and then I got I had uh, the cotton candy tea and that was fabulous and that's what I had for lunch I and I I had lunch I have my tuna and my broccoli and I was ready to eat that but I just wasn't hungry but now I'm hungry so maybe I'll have some tuna or something when I get home which is right about now. I'm pulling in, pulling in. I have a meeting at four though. Blech. I was thinking just to stay at work and do it there, but then the thought of just being home made me happy, so. <laughs> Crazy. Well, I will talk to you guys later. I don't think I'll close the vlog yet since it's only nine minutes only. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, good morning, it's Tammy, and it is Thursday morning, and I went and got a coffee this morning at the old Rickers gas station. I know that sounds kind of funny, but they have a pumpkin spice coffee. It's not like a pumpkin spice latte or anything, but it's, and, but honestly, I think it's awesome coffee, and it is so inexpensive. It's fabulous. 
So like for a dollar fifty nine, I got coffee, and honestly, it will probably last me all day. I'll drink that with some water, and it will last me. But I just love the coffee. Um, so I was ex I'm excited about that. And then I'm going home. I have my bully dog in the back seat. You can kind of see his ear, like right there. Oh, you can hear his little whining. He's whining, boy. Why are you? Oh, there he is. Why are you whining, Tasman? <laughs> Green light. Here we go. So, um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, I'm so excited because I'm on PTO today and tomorrow, so I get to play in my craft room. I might watch an Audrey Hepburn flick, or I might watch a Hallmark movie, or I don't know what I'm going to watch. I'm just excited to be able to do whatever I want without feeling like I need to keep up with things at work. I mean, I still do. You guys know what I mean. But it's just nice to have a day where you're going ugh, to recharge your batteries. And then this afternoon-ish, um, I'm taking Alex about 3.30. We're leaving and we're going to go to Taylor where he's going to do his 24 at Taylor. And then I am going to do dinner with him. They have a fancy dinner tonight. It's not really fancy, but it's fancy for a college. Katie's all excited because she's like, Mom, they have cheesecake. She doesn't get to go, but she's excited because she likes the cheesecake. Um, so I'll probably bring that back for her to have. Um, and then after dinner, I'm going to come back home. And tomorrow I get to have a day all to myself again until I have to go pick up Alex and Katie and David and bring them all back here so it's gonna be a fun weekend but it's a lot of driving for a little minute but honestly Taylor is just about an hour away so it's not too too bad um, it just stinks when you have to go there and then come right back but you know it's okay and I need to count my blessings and the fact that I have a car that's able to do that and kids that are in college and yeah so I am very grateful for what I have and I have really been trying to say thank you for more things so it's easy to take things for granted and I don't want to do that so anyway I think I'm gonna craft some today with my bullet journal try to get some of the December calendar ready I'm going to hopefully watch like an Audrey Hepburn movie or a Hallmark Christmas movie or just a Hallmark movie um, yeah, I'm kind of excited about just having some alone time and just doing whatever I want. Whatever I want. You're not the boss of me. Um, so <laughs> I'm happy about that. And what else? Um, I know tomorrow when I pick up the kids and bring them back, Alex has to work at five. So that's going to be a real quick trip there and back. And then, um, Katie wants to go to Hobby Lobby. I think I mentioned that. So I'm excited about that. I was thinking about going today because I've been making a list of things that I need, including envelopes. I need envelopes. Um, and some of you guys had asked where I get my envelopes. I usually get them at Hobby Lobby. There used to be a stationary like bulk store downtown that I would go and get them at when I worked closer to downtown. And they're way cheap that way. So if you have a place like that, you can get them from. They're way inexpensive. I mean, you get like a box of a thousand for like ten dollars but um i get them at hobby lobby and i usually use the 50 percent off or i usually wait till they're 50 percent off but like right now i i'm gonna say i need them i don't need them but i want to have them ready for my christmas cards because i'm already planning all that and um so i just need some more and i'll use my 40 percent off coupon if they aren't on sale but they're usually like like ten dollars for a hundred so it's not awful with your 40% off coupon. There's my Tasman. Who's mama's baby boy? <laughs> Who's our mama's baby boy? Oh, I love that Taz. Oh, I love him. Go say hi to everybody. Go say hi. Are you gonna say no? You go say hi. <laughs> Alright, he knows we're home and he's going, what's up, mom? Alright, well, I'm gonna close this vlog here. I so appreciate all of you and thanks for watching and I will talk with you soon. Bye-bye. Have a great day.